Okay, girls, I'm going to tell you what to do when a high value man cheats on you. So if you're not having sex with him or you stop having sex with him, he's going to go out and go cheat. And that's when you can use male nature against him. So when he comes back to the house, don't start yelling at him, cussing him out, bringing it up because he's not going to picture himself with you for the next six months. He does not need to put up with that. If he's already having other options, he will leave you. So not just that, but now he knows you're insecure and that your whole world revolves around him and you have nothing else going on. So what I suggest is you make up a plan in your head like, okay, I'm going to leave him in three months, but during these three months, I'm going to take as much money as I can from him and cheat at the same time. Do not tell him you're cheating. Whatever you're doing, don't tell him you're cheating, but it will help you sleep better at night knowing, damn, I'm also cheating on this guy and getting paid from him. That's the biggest difference. So when you so when you do walk away, you're walking away as a cheating ass bitch with 20k cash. So now you have the upper hand. And always remember this girl, whoever you cheat on with, remember, make sure he has more money, make sure he's a way more valuable guy than the one you have, because we're always upgrading. So remember, if he cheats on you, the only difference is that you're getting paid and you're cheating on him with a better guy, and you end up leaving with the bankroll. You're good. Yo, what's up? What it do? What it is? It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha. Back as you fellas again with that heat. Y'all already know what time it is. Wrist, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck. Holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down with that gang. Got this powder on my neck. It's hot outside, so you know what it is. Just got the shower. Y'all know what it do. Please like, share, subscribe. Get the notification bell as soon as I dump these videos. Pipe it high status. You're going to get it down your phone into your ear. All ear candy gang. Facts. My video for education purposes only. Fair use only. We had a thousand, so more than a thousand. Affinity. We need it all. It's the goal. We need all the subscribers. All of them. That's the goal. Uh, shit. <laughs> you already know. A video, like I said, is for education purposes only, fair use only. You go to the description under, the vi under my videos, to my bow section, on how to get at me. I'm all ears. Holler at me. If you're not that apologetic type of person, then what she's saying won't even work on you. Now let's break it down. A lot of guys, and I'm gonna say 90, I'm gonna say 98 to 99 percent. You got that one percent out there, a very small population of guys that stand on what they do. You know, if they done it, they done it. They meant if they knew what they was doing, then they know what they was doing. You know, I know what the fuck we used to apologize for, right? I'm grown, I'm older enough, I know I made this decision to take this route, then that's what it is. If it cost me my relationship, then I knew what I was doing before I've done it, right? That's what a mature man should be thinking. That's how a mature man should automatically come off. That's how he should be thinking. He shouldn't alter what he wants to do in favor of a chick, you know, or in favor of his boss, or in favor of his children, his mother, father, anyone. If you feel like you needed to do it, then do it. Stand on it. The fuck you need to apologize for, right? Apologizing isn't for every man. Apologizing isn't for everyone. You did? That's just real talk. Because some of us know that apology isn't really warranted, you know, when I know what I'm doing. I knew I fucked this woman, for an example, I knew I fucked this woman over here on my wife. That's why you got to let your wife know or your girlfriend know. Let people know at the beginning, this is who I am. You must accept me for who I am or don't accept me at all. I got a video of that get ready to drop or this might drop. I don't know. I got so many videos put up. Whatsoever want to drop first. But you will have a video somewhat, you know, you have a video that's, you know what I'm saying, related to what I'm talking about actually right now. But I do have a video of that put up and I'm going to have to drop it. Now, <clears throat> 98 to 99% of the guys out here, I'm going to say 99 strongly, will apologize to their woman. And they'll come off bearing gifts, buying cars, <laughs> paying bills, doing all type of things because they feel like I was in the wrong for what I've done. Baby, please forgive me. I shouldn't have done it. Um, how can I make this up to you? 
that type of attitude, that type of mentality is going to get you a bitch like this. Good looking out to the subscriber for sending me this video because she's right back at it. She's back at it. I just did a video on her. You know, and I keep seeing videos of her. But I'm like, damn, this chick is really out here. What is she doing? Is she trying to reverse the red pill knowledge? Is she trying to reverse the manosphere? Like, what is she trying to do? What is she doing? I know what she's doing. She's listening to this content and she's utilizing it against you fellas. You know, not my content. Probably is, you know, but there's very other contents out there, just like mine. She's listening to our content and she's trying to, you know what I'm saying, make it backfire on you. But if you're smart enough, you know that you ain't going to go down that road. Got the game fucked up. But one, if you're not that apologetic type of guy, if you stand on what you do, if you actually let your woman know at the beginning of the relationship, this is who I am, this is how I roll, you know. I like multiple women, you know. I like threesomes or things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do things without your permission, and this ain't got to be about sex. If you're in a relationship or whatever, it ain't got to be about sex. I'm going to do things without your permission because this is what I want to do. I stand on this shit, so why should I apologize for it? You either going to ride with it or you need to get the fuck on. You feel me? That mentality right there. Is it going to bring you a chick like this? Is it going to bring you cooperation or a chick not trying to fuck with you because she's not willing to fit your program and meet your standards? And that's cool. That's okay. Don't get mad at that. Don't hate the woman behind that. Let her go. There are women out there that's willing to fuck with you. There is someone out there that's willing to meet that program. You might just have to keep chucking, keep pushing, keep chopping that game until you get to that person. That's a part of life. That's cool. That's okay. Nothing's wrong with that. I like a challenge because I'm a hunter. I'm a hustler. I like to go get my go-getter. Real talk. So I like the challenge of fucking with multiple women. Running through multiple women and seeing what's best for me. And what ain't best for me got me my must kick rocks. And if it is best for me, you know, she can stay in the position, you know, she it's position four. That rotation is there. That rotation is there. She can fulfill one of those spots. Real talk. But you guys that lead with your wallet, you guys that lead with what you can do for a woman, you do anything for her so she will not be angry, mad, and upset. Withhold that pussy. Withhold her time. Withhold her as a person, her persona can roll with the next motherfucker. You don't want to lose that. So you're going to come off the way that she sees. Because she's dealing with it too many simps. She's dealing with a lot of suckers, a lot of tricks. That's why she's coming off like this. Because only tricks and suckers can relate to what the fuck she's talking about. And she can relate to only tricks and suckers and vice versa. If you're not that type of person, then you ain't going to relate to this. She ain't going to relate to you. Real talk. I guarantee you she fucks guys just on the strength of who the fuck they are. Ain't got nothing to do with money. Ain't got nothing to do with looks. Ain't got nothing to do with status. Ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It's got something to do with who she like. And you know, the ear candy, that jolly rat she puts into her ear, you know what I'm saying? Telling the things that she want to hear. Making her feel good. Remember, I put that in the I did it short about that. It's all about the feelings, how you make them feel. So she's only talking to guys that lead with their wallets. She's only talking to guys that she knows that she can manip manipulate like that. Guys that front. What uh, MC Breeze say back in the day, ain't no, fruit, ain't no future in the front, right? It's facts. Guys that front like they're masculine, like they're alpha. When they get around a chick that looks decent or halfway decent, look good, fat ass and, you know, things of that nature. They fold. They bend. They bow. They crap out. Real talk. 
And they're willing to be led by that bitch because they feel like she looks hot. She looks good. They're going off what looks are. They, that's all they're going off is the imagery. You know? Accidentally motherfucking. Uh, uh, don't put the mustard on the sandwich for the bitch when you're making her a sandwich. This is what I'm sorry for. It's 2004. You can motherfucker turn, turn straight into Ruben Stutter. And start apologizing like a motherfucker. For the smallest shit. She see you weak like that. So she's going to come out of your pockets. Idiot. Why not? She should come out of your pockets. It's set out for her to come after. You're not smart enough to protect yourself. You're not smart enough to love yourself. That's the first thing. Because if you were. You want to be apologizing for shit that you know you done and you don't give a fuck about. She going to be willing to accept what it is or get the fuck on. It's just a nut and a headache. That's all, that's all it is, man. Real talk. It's nothing more, nothing less. You make it more than what it is. Real talk. She's going to make it less than what it is because you ain't shit to her. You're just a walking lick. You're walking motherfucking ATM machine, checkbook, credit card, bank debit card, Vimo, Cash App, all these different various financial entities, you know what I'm saying, depositing and withdrawing and money type entities that's out here. You are everything to her because you don't give a fuck about yourself. And you allow her to run this shit. Puppy dial look, puppy, puppy dog look and it was a puppy dog. Their puppy dog looks and shit, you know. Baby, I need this. I'm so sorry. Um, things are not going right, you know. I don't I don't want to talk about these things because it's not happening right. You know, I just don't want to talk about because I don't want to upset you. I don't want to take you down. Baby, you can't take me down. I got it all. Write her a check real fast. I got it all. Here go the credit card. Let's go some cash. When that was her plan the whole time. Man, come on, man. She getting rich off you suckers. Plotting on you suckers. Leaving you suckers. She tell, and what she say? Don't tell them you cheating, girl. Of course you ain't going to tell them you cheating. It's going to fuck up your bag. We know that. You, you were 20, 20,000 up, round, and you got away, right? But that goes on him for not seeing your bitch ass coming. Real talk. Or your type. Not just her, but her type coming. And how many of you guys out here? will see her video a thousand times and see the bitch in Walmart or the grocery store or the gas station or at one of these, you, you don't see her out and about, a little event or something, and still will try to knock her up and make her your bitch. Y'all still do it, man. Y'all will still do it. But then you run back and complain and watch these videos. I mean, where did I go wrong? You know where you went wrong at? Choosing her motherfucking looks. Over what she can do for you. How can she benefit you? All that shit come last. Her looks come first in your world. That's the type of person you are. Can't be like that, man. Real talk. You can't. Are you going to run across a scavenger hunt like this? Gangster. On your pockets. <laughs> Don't give a fuck about nothing that comes with you, around you, or that comes by you. All she give a fuck about what she cares about is she out the door. Fucking your homie, father, grandpa, all types. She don't give a fuck. No. She said her, her intentions is to get into your world and get into your pockets. Why? Because you was weak as fuck enough to allow that to happen. I'm about to get up out of here, fellas. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. And duck and dodge women like this. Oh, check this out. You really ain't got to duck and dodge Invite them over. Give them that dick. Let them know what it is. If they ain't with it, get the fuck on. If she's with it, she's going to get that dick and she's going to ride with the program. Women that's really with it, you disrupt their game. You disrupt their plan on what they want to do to you. How they want to set you up for the lick and take you for all your shit and all that. But when she's falling for you and she like you, they throw them plans off. The only how she gonna fall for you and like you like that is if you love yourself and don't allow yourself to go through this and allow that type of shit to come around you. Real talk. Holla.